Next Friday marks the 50th anniversary of President Kennedy's assassination. The occasion is bringing a flood of documentaries about that day in Dallas. None, be, none may be like a program called Marching On 1963 Army Navy Remembered. It looks at a legendary college football game held after Kennedy's death. CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford is the executive producer. After the president was assassinated, we were alerted that there was consideration being given to whether the game should be played at all. My own feelings were, this is not about us now. It's about this grieving family, what they feel is appropriate. My teammates were ready to support whatever decision was made. Everything was being canceled after John F. Kennedy's death and the Army-Navy game being part of that. But Jackie Kennedy, Bobby Kennedy, the whole family just knew how much Jack loved the Army-Navy game. Jacqueline Kennedy's opinion was what swayed the thing. She felt the president would want that game played, that that was important to him, and therefore it was important to her and it was important to the country. She was the voice of the country at that point. So because of all that, it made it much more than just another football game. In a sense, it was President Kennedy's game. We told them we want to play a game fit for a president. We had to celebrate his life. With the blessing of the First Lady, the Army-Navy game was rescheduled for Pearl Harbor Day, December 7th, 15 days after the assassination. Organizers planned it as a solemn event, devoid of the game's customary fanfare. When I got out there, it was complete silence and I'd never experienced that in a football game in my life. It was almost eerie. The brigade, the cadets, the teams, the people that would be in attendance were still unsure how to act. It was still a strange feeling that they were still within this cloud of melancholy. But I will say that at that point the kickoff took place and quite frankly I think most every athlete on that field and most every person in that stadium put aside the morning and play the game. Mm, Jack Ford, good morning. I watched morning it last again. night. You know what I learned? This was way more than a football game. Over 100,000 people in the stands that day. It was. What, what's interesting about this story is, you know, we've seen throughout history that in times of crisis or tragedy, we reach out for something, something that can, can assure us that we'll be okay. And oftentimes what we embrace are traditions and our sports traditions. And what happened here is, as, as you saw, and as the documentary talks about, we didn't know how to react. The nation was stunned. A, a sense of paralysis had taken over. And here comes the game, and Jackie Kennedy says, Jack would have wanted you to play this game. And it was the opportunity for the nation to embrace something that, that meant something to them and, and to make them realize, you know what, we will be okay. You know, I love that point you made, like whether it was the Saints winning the Super Bowl after Katrina, the Red Sox after uh, the marathon bombings. What was the connection between JFK and this game? Jack Kennedy was an enormous fan of college football. Uh, he played JV football at Harvard. He, he, we have, you'll see all the iconic pictures of them playing touch football and, and, on Hyannisport. And he loved Navy football. He was a Navy guy. Mm -hmm. He often sure. said one of the things he's most proud of, that he was a Navy guy. He had gone to the two Army-Navy games in the first two years of his administration. He was planning on being on this one. This one had all the trappings of, of an epic game. Uh, Navy was number two in the nation. And you got to remember, Army-Navy was the national game back yeah. in the 60s sure. and the 50s and yeah. 40s. There was no Super Bowl. Army Navy was the game. Right. And this game, Navy was number two in the nation. Their star quarterback, Roger Staubach, Tom Lynch was their captain. Army had this powerhouse team. Rolly Stitchway was the quarterback. Dick Nowak, All American. So the whole nation was looking forward to this game, as was President Kennedy. And who won? It's a thriller. <laughs> it, you know what? It, 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 is truly, it is truly one of those thrilling games that goes down to the last second. Okay. And I'm yeah. going to do that. You're, You're going to have me. to watch. Can we just say Jack Ford. Lawyer, anchor, uh, correspondent, executive <laughs> producer. producer. I know, when I heard you were doing this, I said, "How Jack this Ford, is, now this, a is a, this is a perfect husband, yeah. a pa father, passion yes. project." First, yes. first college football game I ever saw. I was in eighth grade. I was recruited yeah. by Army and Navy. Went up to Yale to play, and had stayed close to the people. So it was it was wonderful for me to to 
sit down and talk yeah. with yeah. all these guys. And the great thing, okay. too, is Jack Kennedy was not a sentimental man. I mean, he yeah. was the one who wanted the game to go on. Yeah, exactly. And that's what the whole family said. They said that would have been important to him because he would have realized that it'd be important to the nation. Yes, yeah, you did a nice played. job, Jack. Ford. Thank you, Did all Gail. the interviews. Really nice. Thank you so you much. You can see Marching On Tonight on the CBS Sports Network, it's called.